What's up everyone, we're back at it again. My name is Brad and welcome back to my channel. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna go outside so I can give you a week 12 update to show you what all of my ficuses look like post Big Chop. As you know, week by week, I've been giving you an update of what all of these trees look like because I want to encourage you to also give your tree a Big Chop, especially if you're trying to reinvigorate it. Without further ado, let's go outside and get into it. First up on the week 12 update is my ficus elastica burgundy. So last week I pointed out some leaves that were beginning to pop out of the sheath. And as you can see a week later, the leaves have really emerged. So again, what you'll see is you'll see swelling along this sheath here. And what's happening is the leaf is actually developing underneath this sheath. And once it gets nice and ready and big enough, the sheath will naturally burst and that will leave you with a leaf that emerges. So this particular ficus elastic burgundy, as I've said many times before, it's really filling out nicely. And I think that within the next maybe two more weeks, all of these leaves will completely have unfurled and potentially I'll have another set that is about to emerge as well. So the ficus elastic burgundy is looking great. <clears throat> all of the branches are looking great. And this is exactly the kind of structure that I was trying to achieve at the beginning of this journey. So for instance, this little branch here, I just wanna see what happens. You know, is it gonna to continue to extend out to the right or is it gonna actually curve up and then I'm gonna have a nice little uh, Y-shaped tree? We'll see. But all in all, again, Ficus Elastica Burgundy is looking absolutely gorgeous. Here is the Ficus Elastica Robusta. Last week, this leaf had just emerged and it was a very orangish color, kind of like a philodendron prince of orange, but it is starting to harden off and it's starting to develop into more of a darker green color, as you can see by comparison. And, you know, again, the, the growth of this has kind of stunted, which is a bit surprising to me, but I do think that the primary reason why it has stunted is because of just the tremendous amount of heat that we've gotten. So <clears throat> we'll just keep monitoring this and we'll just hope that, for instance, some of these branches that are deeper down, hopefully they'll continue to grow as well. Because if I look at this branch, this branch is essentially arrested. And what that means is we're not really seeing any additional growth being pushed up from this particular branch. Now, I could, for instance, decide to chop which will then ultimately send some additional growth upward and outward. But we're not going to do that. What we're going to instead do is once this soil has pretty much dried out for us, we're going to water this with a double dose of fertilizer, NPK ratio 312. And that should help to encourage some of that additional outward growth that we're looking for. But this ficus robusta, it's okay. It's okay. I want it to get bigger. I mean, it's amazing that that burgundy back there it has essentially caught up to the Robusta. Going further back, we can look at this Ficus Elastic Taniki. I really like the contrast that the Taniki throws with the Robusta and burgundy right behind it. You can really see the colors more vividly that way. But zooming in, we can see that my Taniki is, again, doing very well. The leaves, again, are becoming much bigger, much bigger. And these leaves have not yet fully hardened off. And I know that they haven't yet fully hardened off and that they haven't yet reached its full growth potential because of the fact that they're still slightly uh, flexible. They, they're slightly, they're, they're not upright. And because this plant is outside, that is the kind of growth that you should expect for your Taniki and really uh, all of your type uh, elasticas. And that is nice upward growth that is kind of similar in shape and pattern to this right here. But we'll see what happens. The branching looks absolutely great and remarkable. Week 12, so it's taken 12 weeks since basically chopping this Taniki up. And since the nodes have become active to develop into the current look that you see right here. Ficus Elastic Taniki, a great, beautiful plant. If you like these kind of videos and want to continue to see more videos like it about houseplant tips, tricks, as well as grow updates, 
please be sure to subscribe to my channel. It's totally free and would mean a lot. Thank you so much. Now, let's get back to the week 12 update. Now, here is one of my ficus audrey's. So this is the ficus audrey that I had in the smaller pot that I recently upgraded to the larger pot. And since upgrading it to the larger pot, this particular ficus audrey has just absolutely rewarded me with amazing growth. You can see the lower branches here have started to develop um, a lot better. And they are putting on growth with these big, beautiful leaves. And then even the upper growth has really started to put on a lot of uh, additional growth. So if we look here, we can see where the new growth has actually started. Uh, where you see this kind of uh, hardening off of the trunk. So where you have this brownish color to where it transitions to this greenish color. All of this is new growth. So it's put on a lot of new growth since putting it in this new pot. And it even is still throwing out leaves about once every week, week and a half. But with the additional branching that this tree has, the frequency of a new leaf is really about once every week to once every four days, where you can actually see swelling in the sheath and buds um, that lets you know that it's about to throw out a new leaf. And then when we go over to the taller ficus audrey, we can see that this plant again has just gotten really large, which I absolutely love. And this leaf is actually new as of two days ago. I've been keeping an eye on it. Uh, both of these leaves actually are. Uh, these leaves will get larger, uh, as you can imagine, because if you look at the leaves behind it, they're much larger than these tiny leaves here. And we know that the leaves haven't yet fully hardened off because if you look by comparison, just at the color, look how more emerald green this particular leaf is compared to more of a forest green color that's at the back. And then even uh, we, when we compare it a bit further with this even newer leaf, you can still see that same thing. You have a more emerald green color and a uh, more of a, a hardier or forest green color in the in the background but the ficus audrey looks great it's nice and tall too which is something that you really should think about trying to achieve when you have these type of plants you want to go for not only height but you also want to go for that branching pattern so you can really bring the outside indoors all right so the fiddle leaf fig one of the million dollar questions is did the fiddle leaf fig put on some new growth did it put out some new leaves well, if we take a look here, this is a new leaf, and this is a new leaf. So that's two new leaves right here. When we look here, we see a new leaf. And then when we swing around, we see a new leaf and a new leaf that is emerging as well. So yes, this particular fiddle leaf thick did put on some new growth, which is great. And then when we go over to the second fiddle leaf fig, it doesn't quite look like we have any new growth coming yet, but we will, we will. We just have to be a little patient so we don't see any swelling there. And we don't see really much of any swelling there as well. So I don't think that this is gonna put on any new growth here within the next week or so. Uh, it's probably going to take us a couple of weeks before we start seeing any kind of meaningful growth, unfortunately. I was really getting excited because if you just look at the shape of this, how it's just growing up, that's what I want. I want to have more height on this tree. So hopefully before the end of this growing season, I will get some more leaves. So those are my fiddle leaf figs. Here is my ficus moonshine. Ficus moonshine has put on growth as you can see and we also see that we have swelling so i can expect a new leaf in about another week week and a half and again this tree is it, it's it's cool it's pretty i like it i like it a lot but a lot of times you really can't appreciate the splendor of what a new tree has until it gets more mature i mean for instance like look how thick that stem is compared to this stem i mean this is a this is tiny, but the roots have developed very well. This uh, 
potting soil is pretty damp so i don't want to try to pull it out yet but it is a pretty uh the the roots have encircled the this pot here which is good so i have great root development and the roots are looking nice and healthy so we can actually see a roof i'll shoot there that will cover up some soil and i really think that it is enjoying this particular pot so ficus elastica excuse me ficus moonshine looking absolutely beautiful fortunately i know i'm not going to get it to be the size of some of these monsters here but regardless it is going to develop one day to be a very amazing tree as i always do let's take a look at the ficus altissima yellow gem so this one is again just one of the ones that just happens to grow the fastest look at the number of leaves that it has i mean these this tree has just shot out with new growth like it's no one's business and again i mean this tree was absolutely bare it had no leaves at all and just in a matter of what 30 maybe 40 days it has put on this much growth so I do think that I am going to get some continued height out of this because we can see that we have leaves that are just continuing to form. Up and up, <clears throat> which is great. I do think, though, that I'm going to uh, notch this because I do want some leaves lower as well. We do see some dormant buds. So I do know that it does want to push out growth. It's just a matter of getting it to activate. So we'll probably notch along these nodes or along the inner node to help encourage that growth there. But I'm just very impressed and I really enjoy and like what this looks like so far. Absolutely beautiful. My ficus altissima yellow gem. So that's the week 12 update. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really happy, I guess I would say, with the growth that has happened between week 11 and week 12. While the growth has been slow, a little bit is better than nothing at all. I'm really interested to see what's going to happen with that ficus elastica burgundy between week 12 and week 13, especially since I have all of those sheaths that have swollen up, and I'm sure I'm just going to get beautiful leaves to come out of those. Thank you again for watching the video, and if you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Again, my name is Brad, and I'll see you on the next one.